is the PSAT? The PSAT is a practice test designed to prepare students for the SAT test. The test is broken up into two sections and takes two hours and 45 minutes to complete. The PSAT is a right answers only test, which means there is no penalty for guessing. On test day, try your best and fill in an answer for every question. The PSAT is broken up into two main sections, math and evidence-based reading and writing. The math section consists of 47 questions total. You will have 25 minutes with no calculator and 45 minutes with a calculator. There are three subsections in math, data analysis and problem solving, algebra, and other areas of more advanced math. The second section is broken up into reading and writing skills. You will have 60 minutes for the reading section and 35 minutes for the writing skills section. In this section, you will find topics on humanities, science, history, social studies, and careers. The writing and language portion focuses on using evidence to analyze paragraphs and correct mistakes. There are slightly different versions of the PSAT for different grade levels, but the sections remain the same. The PSAT shares scores with the National Merit Scholarship Program, which means high-scoring students can be eligible for merit-based scholarships. The scores can also be linked with Khan Academy for personalized study tools. So why is the PSAT important? Students who take the PSAT will feel more comfortable with the format of the SAT, including the time limits on sections and the structure of questions. Students will receive detailed score reports on areas that need improvement, which will be aligned with Khan Academy for extra practice opportunities. High-scoring students may be eligible to receive merit-based scholarships. The test is only meant to help students and will not have adverse effects on a student's chances of getting into college. So when will you take the PSAT? The test date is Wednesday, October 10th. And what can you do to prepare? You can find plenty of sample questions at collegeboard.org, such as algebra questions, problem solving and data analysis questions, and additional topics in math. You can also find evidence-based reading questions with topics like history. And you can find evidence-based writing and language questions with topics like careers. It's important to understand how the scoring system works. Scores will be available online in mid-December. You will receive a total score, which is accumulation of your section scores. The total score ranges from 320 to 1520. The section scores range from 160 to 760 each. You will also receive subscores for each subsection. Your score report will include a lot of useful information. Your score report will show your total score and your section scores. It will also show your national percentile. It will also show you if you are on track for college and career readiness, if you are approaching the benchmark, or if you need to strengthen specific skills in certain areas. It will also show you a breakdown of specific test scores and all of your subscores. So where can you go if you have any other questions? There are tons of resources on collegeboard.org, on captest.com, on khanacademy.org, you can also ask your counselor or teachers, and you can even search on YouTube.